I'm just so annoyed. Welcome back to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl, and today I'm doing the I'm So Annoyed booktube book tag. This tag was created by Books I'm Not Reading, and I have watched a lot of people do it and thought it looked like a fun tag, but I wasn't sure if I would do it or not. I kind of decided that I wouldn't do it unless I got tagged by somebody, but then when Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia did it, she said that she would tag, she wasn't sure who hadn't done it yet, and she would tag anybody who wanted to do it. So at that point, I thought, you know what, I think it would be a fun tag to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So that is why I'm doing it today. So number one, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying and share an example? Yes, they do. There's actually two things that annoy me, but I'm going to save one for a later question and first talk about this one. So this is my copy of the first book in the Enola Holmes series. And you can see my daughter covered this up for some reason with a piece of paper. It says a Netflix film on it and it's not a removable sticker. So I hate it when they put movie things on the covers of books that have adaptations, especially when it's not a movie adaptation edition, but also when they put things on that look like they're going to be a sticker, but they're not, and it's just permanently on the book, or when they put on stickers that are so hard to get off that it ruins the book. Number two, have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler, even something as simple as someone else telling you there is a great twist? I really haven't because I don't, Feel like most people spoil a book on purpose. I think we get excited about what we've read and we start talking about it and sometimes we'll spoil it or sometimes we'll give up too much of the plot but it's if it's not done in a way that is malicious then it doesn't really annoy me and I, I really don't care about spoilers too much. I get spoiled, spoiled for movies and things sometimes and yeah if there's a really great twist it's more fun to come at it not knowing what's happening what's going to happen but i reread books and i rewatch movies and so i just if i get spoiled i get spoiled and then i just deal with it tiffany said something though that i fully agree with and that is the only time it really annoys me is when it is an introduction in a book so a lot of times in the classic books where they have a a foreword or an introduction and basically give away the whole book and sometimes other books I do not like that, and so I never read introductions to books anymore. Sometimes I will go back and read them after I've read the book, but sometimes I don't because I have, like I said, been spoiled for other books that way. So that is something that I that bothers me just because they're doing it on purpose, and I guess they're assuming you already know the story, but if you're reading it the first time and need an introduction, that should also a clue that you don't know what's going to happen and shouldn't be spoiled. So I think it always should be at the end of the book. Number three, have you ever been annoyed by what you discovered in a little free library, a book sale, or a used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. I couldn't think of any other things I've ever been annoyed by in a used book sale or a little free library because there's just, there's books there I like, there's books there I don't like. Usually they're nice. I, I just couldn't think of anything. And then I remembered one of the little free libraries I went to one time I was going through it and I found a girl's journal. It was a teenage girl. And when I started flipping through it, at first I thought it was just a, a book journal or something. And then I realized she's talking about her life. She's talking about dates she went on in school and friends. And I don't know how that ended up there. That was slightly annoying because I can't imagine somebody would have put their journal in there on purpose. Number four, when it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? No, I don't really care. If I was reading a short story collection and there was a novella in the middle of it, then I would either read it or not read it. So no, I'm not annoyed by that. Number six, deckled edges, beautiful or annoying? Both. I do think that they are pretty, but I don't like them. And the reason why is because I find it hard to, harder to turn the pages, but also I like using book darts and putting them in where I wanna remember a quote or something. And I like putting the dart right next to where the sentence is. And so with deckled edges, I can't find them afterward and so I have to put it at the top or the bottom of the book and so it's just showing the page that's fine it's not that big of a deal but it slightly annoys me so if I have a choice between deckled edges or non deckled edges I will choose the non deckled edges number six other people's annotations in a used book or a library book annoying or are you okay with it I think all of us have had this almost exact same answer which is of course in a library book it's inappropriate but in a used book it doesn't really bother me unless it is something that is throughout the whole entire thing and if it's really messy, I annotate my books like crazy. I write things, I underline things, 
unless it's one of my special editions, I write all over them. I will kind of talk back to the book sometimes with making my little notes or talking about something that it made me feel or if I have a connection to it in some way. In my Sherlock Holmes books, the short stories I read last month, a lot of the phrases were in Latin and French and I would look them up and write the meanings in the margins. And so if somebody borrows a book from me, they're most likely, if it's a deep book that has a lot of ideas and quotes, they're going to have a lot of annotations for me. And so I don't mind that. But sometimes you'll get a book that you know somebody was using for school and it will just be through the whole thing and it doesn't feel personal at all. So it doesn't necessarily annoy me, but it's not a preference. If I'm getting a used book, I would prefer it doesn't have that so that it doesn't affect my own reading of it. But if it is somebody that I have a connection to, if it was an ancestor or my mom or a friend, then I actually would like it because then it would feel like I was having a conversation with them while I was reading it. Number seven. If there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books and changes are made, are you annoyed or okay with it? If yes, give an example. I'm okay with it if they change the covers, if they've done the whole series or collection in one cover and then made the change after. And so then you can choose between the two different collections, that's fine. I don't like it when they change it part way through. This goes to the other thing that publishers do that annoys me that I was saving for this question. And that is when they change the size. I have this in a few different book series. I brought this one in with me to show as an example, the selection series. You can see that the first one is much taller than the next two, but the next two were the same height. That bothers me because I just don't know why they do it. And it, it seems like people that work in publishing would be readers. And so whenever they do these little things that annoy us readers, I always wonder why, who made that decision and who okayed it. Because don't they have bookshelves that they wanna have look good as well? Number eight. Do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Show the book and what decisions you found annoying. I'm not, I don't, I didn't bring an example of this, but I think the answer is easily yes, of course. Sometimes book characters annoy me. I think that the thing that annoys me the most is when there's miscommunication and it's so obviously something that could be dealt with and figured out easily and people just don't communicate with each other and then that leads to some crazy thing. And so many books have that. So it, I don't, I couldn't really think of one right off the top of my head, but that happens a lot. And then of course, sometimes characters do things that you wouldn't do. Sometimes you'd think if I was the author, I would have them do that differently. But usually those kind of things end up making sense in the end if it's a good book. Number nine, are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books? What do you find annoying? Not really, if they're not connected to me. If it's just some you know, other person having their bookshelves in their own home, uh, it's none of my business how they organize their book. I don't understand the rainbow thing and I don't understand the putting the pages out where, so it's all beige. I know that they're doing that for like, for an aesthetic. I don't know how you find anything either way. Only thing that actually annoys me with book organization is on my own shelves. If people in my family put books back in the wrong place. Number 10, share something bookish that you find annoying. I feel like people have become more comfortable with smut, even in books for junior high, high school, and younger sometimes, that there is this growing kind of uh, pride in reading it. You know, if somebody that's an adult wants to read that that's their business but I also just find it really annoying how it's making its way into so many books because it used to be you know you knew where to go for that kind of book and so it was easy to avoid and now it's just really hard to avoid it and also just the young adult book or new adult but they're in the young adult section at the store or the library that have that I just don't feel like it's appropriate and so that is something that annoys me and number 11 is tag others I'm gonna do the same thing that Tiffany did and just say if you haven't done this yet and you want to please consider yourself tagged and let me know that you've done it because I think a lot of people have done this already and I think most of the people that want to do it have probably by, done it by this time, but there might be somebody out there that still is thinking, oh, I'm gonna wait until someone tags me. So if that's you, you're tagged. Let me know what annoys you in books, if any of these things annoy you as well, or if you love some of the things that annoy me.